Hi guys, welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. I don't know what I was doing wrong just now, but I was just getting the, you know, the twirl, 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 twirl. I think that was because I was talking to you guys and I needed to log out of the chat and command this. And anyway, I'm here. How are you all doing? I hope you're all having a wonderful Sunday afternoon. It's a bit overcast here in New York City and a bit cold. However, it's one of those days that I kind of like because I think it's more of a, a family day when the outside is looking like this. It's like the best time to just relax at home with your family. Now, if you see my face looking a little shiny, that's because it is very cold out and I have the eat a little eye in the house. I don't like to feel cold. I don't mind being outside when it's cold, but when I'm inside, I don't want to be cold. So sometimes I tend to put my heat up a little bit. Anyway, it's Sunday and we are here live. Welcome to all the newbies. If this is your first time watching Sunday's Chit Chat, a warm welcome to you. And if you are an oldies but goodies, welcome back to Sunday Chit Chat. Our topic today is three steps for getting your skin beautiful, three steps to a beautiful skin. And this is three simple, three very easy steps that you can follow to have your skin looking gorgeous. Okay, so before we get into talking about the skin, I'm going to take a few questions. Now, guys, please note that I do not see all the questions on my end so if you ask a question and it's not, and I don't respond sometimes, I don't see all. I think the, the system kind of, you know, play around with the, with the comments and I only get a chance to see some of them. All right. All right. So let me do our regular shout out and then we'll definitely talk about three steps, simple, quick, easy steps that anyone, regardless of who you are, regardless of how lazy you are, <laughs> regardless of how busy you are, you definitely could follow these three steps to have your skin looking gorgeous, okay? And uh, way, 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 way before the the, um, the time for the video when the announcement went out, we have um, Saki, J-A-I-N, and that's Dr. Sony, a regular. So I'm going to give her our shout out. We have Kristen Foster, we have Edith Lampkin, and we have Rhonda Enestrom, I think, and we also have um, Noah Bonwani, and uh, we have a few other early birds that was on. So just in case they were on at that time and now they are not, um, happy Sunday and welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. Now, if anyone have a quick question, go ahead and just write it right now because I'm going to take that question and then I'm going to talk about the first step for beautiful skin. All right. And we have Catherine from Ireland. That's Catherine Rayon. Diana um, Metas, I think, M E A S T A S. I, Diana. Um, my is <laughs> all right. Tell me more. Um, rosy oil. Somebody want to know about rosy oil, Nadini. Um, Nadini, okay, you want to know about rosehip oil. Rosehip oil is wonderful for the skin. It is loaded with retinol, which is a form of a vitamin A. Now, when you find that your skin started to look a little aged, a little sagging, you know, a little wrinkle, a little dull, that is one of the oils that you can actually use on your skin to plump it up, to, you know, just build back that collagen. And also, that is one oil that I tend to use a lot on my skin. All right, so that's just a little um, bit of what rosehip oil really is. All right. So since, um, how do you tighten um, goals on your face? And that is actually a very good question. And that's from Lisa Chambers. And Lisa, the video that I post uh, this morning, it's all about that. It's all about tightening, you know, this part. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine if I tighten mine? Like, Go get the job done, but no, I'll stick to my regular stuff. So it's all about tightening that video and then also the neck, the jawline and the neck. So when you're done, just go and watch that video. It is really a wonderful video. The thing is, I didn't get deep into the exercises because the video was too long and I had to cut it down to 10 minutes. But I'm definitely going to make another video showing you how to tighten the neck, the jawline, and using that same 
um, remedy that I post. So just check it out. It have green tea, coconut oil. It also have aloe vera gel. It have vitamin E oil. And what else is in it? And I don't remember right now, but the blend is wonderful. So when you're done, just go and check. As a matter of fact, guys, the video lineup for the last week is the beginning of the week. So last week I had some great videos, like some great stuff, some stuff that I am really and truly proud of. So if you have not watched last week lineup of videos, just do so sometime in the week when you have the time, just catch up because you definitely um, is missing out on a lot. All right. So first step for beautiful skin. And I guess everyone should know what this step is. And that is to cleanse your face. Pretty easy. Cleanse your face twice per day. Now, why do you need to cleanse your face? You need to cleanse your face because you need to get rid of the grease from your skin. You need to get rid of the blemishes. And in order for you to get rid of the blemishes, you got to clean your face because what caused ble blemishes is the clogged pores and the dirt and dead skin cells from your face. So wash your face and washing mean cleansing your face at least twice per day, every day. When you wake up in the morning, just wash your face. And a quick and easy way to wash your face is just to find a, a wash rod, washcloth, a soft cloth, anything that you have, an old t-shirt, just cut it because I realize that some countries, they do not use wash rags. Some people say wash rags. Some people say wash cloth. Somebody tell me not to say wash cloth because, you know, uh, 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 uh. anyway, some people say wash cloth. Some people say wash rag, depending on where you are living. Personally, for me, I say wash rag. And sometimes I say wash cloth. You could see that I change countries, right? <laughs> anyway, just take your piece of wash rag and you just wash your face with that. And that is definitely going to help your skin a lot. Wash your face at least twice per day if you want to have your skin looking good. You're washing away the grease because the, the, the face, the body, the skin does produces oil. And if you don't get that oil off, what is going to happen is going to help to clog the pores with the shedding of the skin. The skin do shed. The entire skin sheds. And it actually could take care of itself. But if you want it to look radiant, you have the skin out a little by cleansing your skin. And that is from your face all the way down to your toes. I do like to talk about the face, but in all fairness, when you get up, you wash not only your face, but your entire body. And I don't want to get into, you know, how often people take shower and all of that. But since we're talking about just our face, our neck and decollete today, I'm going to tell you to do that at least twice per day. Now, when it comes on to cleanser, you got to find a cleanser that is suitable for your skin. So first you got to find out what kind of skin you have, what type I mean of skin you have, and then you're going to find a cleanser that is suitable, that is not too harsh. You know, if you have normal skin, you play with everything. If you have sensitive skin, then you play around and you try to read ingredients and stuff, but definitely wash your face at least twice per day if you want to have beautiful skin. And that is step one. So we're going back to the board and we're going to take a few questions and we have Kathy Peter your skin is beautiful thank you very much Barbara Palton I Barbara I'm here and we have Rosa Fantina how to tie my skin after losing weight how to tie your skin after losing weight I mean how to tighten your skin after losing weight and when you're talking about tightening the skin your entire skin what I'm going to tell you is that you will have to exercise you will have to especially if you have like, you know, your belly and all of that thing going on, you got to take some of my natural remedy for the belly fat and all of that. And then you got to exercise and massage the skin, just massage, massage, massage the skin. If you really want to get rid of all that naturally, but to assist, definitely you have to do some exercise and you're going to target the area that you find that your skin is sagging. Even when it comes on to the face, one of the reasons why I tend to 
I'll add massages and exercises to this treatment is because it do help with circulation. And once the blood is circulating, then it's going to further help whatever it is that you're using on your skin. Okay. So tightening your skin, your entire body, like your stomach and all that exercise and rub some of those wonderful treatment on your skin also. Okay. All right. We're moving on to step two and step two is to treat and repair. Now, treat and repair, meaning that you're going to put things on your skin that is going to help the skin to look fresh, younger, and just to take care of some form of the aging that is going on. What do you use to treat your skin and what can you use to repair your skin? This is where the wonderful goodness of serums comes in, okay? Now, serum is really, really a wonderful thing to use on your skin. And I have a few natural homemade serum on my channel because I love serum. And serum is going to go on your skin just after you wash your skin. However, if you are using a facial toner, you wash your skin, you use your facial toner, let it dry, and then you apply serum. And serum comes in many different forms. And once again, you're going to find a serum that is suitable for your skin. You have anti-aging serum. You have brightening serum. You have acne serum. You have let me check my note, exfoliating serum. So you have all different kinds of serum. So find one that is suitable for your skin, but you definitely need to use a serum. A serum is gonna is much lighter than a moisturizer, okay? And the serum is more geared towards repairing. You know, with moisturizer, it's gonna, you know, keep the skin from getting dry, blah, blah, blah. But the serum is what gonna boots the collagen. It's going to, you know, get rid of all of that fine lines. The serum is going to help to tighten the skin and put back all of that elastin and all of that goodness. So wash your face as step one said with a mild, whatever it is that suits your skin, apply a facial toner to your skin and find a good facial serum. And if you're struggling to find a good facial serum, just watch my channel, type in facial serum, Chichi Beauty, and some of those wonderful homemade serum that I made is just going to pop up and you go from there. Okay. Serum is good for your skin. You want to have your skin looking beautiful, try to use some serum to repair the skin. All right. Now back to the board. Hi guys. How are you all doing? Come on. I'm going to take a question. All right. Um, Georgetta Young. I'm 52 years old and I keep getting pimples around my chin only and why? Clog, 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 clog. And circulation. So what you're going to do, you are going to exfoliate your skin. And I have some wonderful stuff to exfoliate the skin. Brown sugar, I like a lot with some olive oil and stuff like that. Baking soda with some coconut oil, rice with some um, tomato, you know, just make something, exfoliate your skin. Now, once you exfoliate the skin, what you're going to do, you are going to practice to massage your skin. Okay. You need to get the circulation going. So always, wherever, especially the chin, and watch the video that I post. That is also a great video for you. The recipe is good for you because it's going to help with the circulation by doing the exercise at the end of the video. So massage, massage, massage upwards. And they have some wonderful videos on YouTube that show you how to exercise and how to massage the skin. Now, regardless of what age you are, I am advising everyone to practice to massage your face or exercise your face. Just as though you exercise the rest of your body, you want to build muscles and you want to tighten and tone the hips, the thigh, the buttocks and all of that. It's the same thing with your face. If you practice to exercise your face, if you practice to massage your face when you're applying your serum or your moisturizer or even your facial toner, you are going to see a huge difference. And if you look at my face right now, and I am in the mid, 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 if you know what I mean, and uh, take a look at my laugh lines. And this is not filled with makeup. This week, um, guys, I post a video, okay? And how to get rid of the laugh lines. 
It's no joke. I use this all week. Check this out, guys. This is, I'm wearing makeup, yes, but I'm wearing makeup sparingly, okay? I'm wearing a liquid foundation on my face and I wet my sponge, so I just dab it on. But we're not talking about the makeup right now because I can't use makeup. I'm not that good with applying my makeup to fill my laugh lines up and take a look and I'm not going to speak. I'm just going to let you look at my face and check my laugh lines out. And this is due to the laugh line treatment that I post this week. Check it out. That's it. You could still see a little wrinkles going on here, a little bit there, but the laugh lines. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Guys, you need to go and watch that video. It's, it's, amazing it's no joke sometimes i make things and i put it out there and i am crazy about it like i'm like ooh, and i just want everybody to try it because i know the result so if you have wrinkles laugh line deep wrinkles around the mouth forehead wrinkles somebody said not to follow me or watch me because my forehead don't move <laughs> oh, i guess let's say that i um i go and get it done but it don't move. I don't know. I didn't know that, but nothing is the only thing that I apply to this for Ed is my stuff that I'm making. Okay. All those wonderful stuff. And if you look at my forehead, you're going to see about three dents, one, two, three, and a little one right there. That's four dents in my forehead. And those are not birth marks. Those are due to my grandma used to give us some shower like shower us every sunday <laughs> every sunday my grandmother used to shower or give her grandkids let's not say shower give her grandkid a bath or back home we say bead go you know she bathed us and she feel like she could do a great job by and this is why i think i am so much into skincare because i think the foundation from i was growing up we were really big on skincare in a small way without even realizing that because the reason my grandmother would give us a bath every sunday is because she think we don't do a good job during the week we have to go to school and stuff like that i'm talking before six years old we were, we were very very little right and she would take us and guess what the neck, girl, I'm telling you, she getting rid of all the dirt from the neck. So growing up as a kid, I didn't have dark neck. And now I make so many wonderful stuff, how to get rid of dark neck. So I guess that's where it's coming from. The armpit, she would like scrub her rubber. When we're done, we're, our skin is burning. I'm not saying that was the right way to do, but she was doing what she know how to do best, right? And that is to cleanse our skin. And when we were done with all of that rubbing and scrubbing, in, she would oil us from head to toe with some coconut oil okay and that's one of the reason why i love me some coconut oil okay guys i know i'm straight from the tree step but cleansing the skin falls on the you know from head to toe so if you want to have nice clear beautiful skin you got to take care of it from a young age okay now if it's too far gone not to worry you still can make it up by starting at this minute and that's why we're doing the three step you wash your face and cleanse your face and then you apply a serum and the next step is to treat the skin okay the next step is to hydrate and protect now, how are you going to hydrate your skin? That is where the, my, my throat is tickling from today, guy. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I hope I'm not coming down with anything. It just, <clears throat> I went out early and I get back in and then my throat start to give me that little thing, like really annoying, like annoying. Check my eyes out. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Anyway. The show must go on, okay? So you're going to hydrate your skin with your favorite moisturizer. And you can use any form of oil. Find something that is good for your skin. If you have oily skin, try to find a lighter moisturizer. It, oh, wow. <coughs> I think I need some water. But anyway. <coughs> <coughs> I don't know. 
Anyway, anyway, I am going to beat whatever is coming, whatever is coming, whatever is coming. Anyway, guys, I'm so sorry. I would have to get up and get in the kitchen for water. Anyway, it's going to go. It's going to go back to hydrating. Moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Find a moisturizer that is good for your skin type, okay? Oils are great for the skin. Vitamin E oil is a good moisturizer. Grapeseed oil is a good moisturizer because it's loaded with vitamin E. Also, you have the almond oil. And if you are living somewhere like now that is getting a little cold, definitely had some coconut oil and some olive oil. If not, go out and buy yourself a moisturizer. But moisturize the skin, meaning hydrate, 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 hydrate. It doesn't matter if you have oily skin, you still need to moisturize the skin. You just have to find something that is suitable for your skin, okay? Now, we're going to talk about protecting the skin. How do I protect the skin? And there's no other way to protect the skin than to use a sunscreen. Now, if you have to go out in the sun, you protect it yourself, your face and your hands and all of that with sunscreen. However, you can also find a moisturizer that have sunscreen. So if you're out and about, make sure your moisturizer have at least 15 SPF, at least, okay? Now they're talking about 35 and 40 and all of that, but I'm saying at least. So that's how you're gonna protect yourself. You're gonna wear clothes in that match the weather, okay? So if you're living somewhere cold, not only are you going to be like covering up your head? Cover the rest of your body too because the, the, the coldness could actually dry your skin out when you're outside. It could take a toll on your skin, all right? When you get inside, the heat in the house is going to dry your skin even further. So you're going to protect yourself by hydrating the skin. See what I mean? So you live somewhere where it's hot, you're going to protect yourself daily using a SPF of you know, 15 and above. And if you're somewhere where it's cold, you're still going to protect yourself. Now, when you're living in a cold country and the sun is shining, if you have to go outside, you still have to put your SPF on. And a lot of people don't know that, but the sun penetrates whatever. It is so powerful that it penetrates. That coldness have nothing to do with the sun, okay? So protect yourself, protect yourself. So the three steps for beautiful skin that anyone could try that will not cost you a penny really and truly is to wash your face, meaning to cleanse your face. When you're done, you're going to have some form of repair, meaning a serum or a good oil with retinol or vitamin A or vitamin C. All of those letters for skincare is repairing and protecting the skin. So you're going to do that. And after that, you are going to hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. So cleanse, protect, no, cleanse, treat, repair, and protect and hydrate. Okay. The sound like is more because I double up on some of them, but wash your face, put something on it. And after you put something on it, then you're going to put something else on top of that. Right. <laughs> If you know what I mean, I'm watching my time and I can't believe it's going. So now I'm rushing. All right, guys. So that is the topic. So now I have five minutes, which I plan on doing these days to talk to you guys. Now I'm going to take your questions and I'm going to go to the board and make everybody feel happy. All right. Now, Christmas, we're going to have a wonderful Christmas giveaway. I am struggling with when to have the Christmas show. The Sunday before Christmas, I could have the show. Now, do I have the show Sunday before Christmas or do I have it on Christmas Day? And I want you guys to leave a comment or go on the community and post something and let me know which is the best day. Whether to have it the Sunday before Christmas or to have a wonderful 15-minute show on Christmas Day for the giveaway. Now, if you want to be a part of the giveaway, you got to be live on this show for the... No. The giveaway, we're going to, so I'm going to get the, all right, so for the giveaway, the um, beauty club, definitely everybody in the beauty club is going to enter in the giveaway. So the Sunday before Christmas, like the Sunday before, the Sunday before, then I'm going to pick um, people from the chat 
for it. I don't even know. I think that's the best way to do it. So let's say um, whatever this Sunday is before Christmas, then we're going to pick people from that um, live and those are going to go in the drawing for the Christmas present because we cannot do it with you watching. So it's going to be the week before. So make sure you watch the week before Christmas if you want to enter. However, if you're a part of the beauty club, you're automatically in the drawing for the um for the Christmas giveaway. Now we also have our Facebook, so we're gonna do some stuff over there too. So try to join the beauty club on Facebook and also like my Facebook page. Okay, guys. Now for my Instagram, I'm trying to build my Instagram. So I've, guys, I want you all, if you have an Instagram, to go and uh, you know what they do. You like my Instagram or sub whatever it is over there. I'm gonna try to build it. So I'm a little all over the place today with, with the announcement but yes but for our christmas giveaway for our live chat the sunday before christmas is when we're gonna pick people now for those people who want the cake oil i don't know what is taking them so long to send the oils out but definitely you're gonna get your gift okay all right so that's for the announcement so let me go and do some um chat now if you have not watched the week lineup of videos go and watch it when you are done all right questions now donna what is the best oil for pigmentation something very light like grapeseed oil grapeseed oil is not gonna clog the pores so try to use some grapeseed oil and along with using your grapeseed oil try to use some aloe vera on your pigmentation okay whatever it is going on wherever you have aloe vera is good and i have a wonderful when did i post that i post a mix of um stuff or did i not yet post it i don't know i think i post it this week if not it's in the works where i mix some aloe vera with some wonderful stuff that it's not yet post guys it's coming this week donna so watch out for that it's a wonderful mix that definitely and truly is gonna help to get rid of your spots and all of that going on on your skin all right see so, um see let's see so let's see i missed that okay um akima flurry okay I can speak, um, that's French. All right, um, Taranji, I watched the video and that was a good video. Thank you so much. And we also have Nadini, please tell me how to make a body cream. I'm in India and I have a wonderful body cream recipe on my channel, but that's an old video. I'm gonna make a new one, but you could actually type in body cream, Chichi Beauty, and the video is gonna pop up. I use some shea butter and some really wonderful good oils, but I'm gonna make a new one, but you could search for that video okay all right and we also have um bonita dobson can you talk again about the egg white remedy to tighten the skin thank you and i'm sure you watched the video with the egg white um remedy that is actually good now i have a video out with some with potato and banana and the video didn't do that remedy justice Honestly, I wish I could make over that video because there's so many important things that I left out of that video. That remedy, guys, go watch it. It's just three ingredients. It's um, potato, banana, and yogurt. If you don't have yogurt, use some milk. Try that recipe and come back and tell me what happened. I'm so blown away with that recipe. It's like I was like, really and truly shock because it's not only moisturize the skin but that tighten the skin so much it's unbelievable up to an hour after i rinsed that treatment off my skin my skin was feeling really tight and nice so i want you guys to try it it's really a truly wonderful recipe and guess what for that recipe the only thing you need to buy is some yogurt you know most people will find potato and banana so it's easy well not most people but the the ingredients are pretty easy to come by so give that a try and regardless of your age you could try that recipe because it's work wonder and with the potato in it it's going to help to clear the spots also so give that a try okay all right then we have um Somebody was saying that I'm sick. I'm not sick. I'm just feeling a little itching in my throat. And I hope, I hope I'm not getting sick. All right. And then we also have um, Sunday before Christmas because on Christmas Day, many people are busy. That's what I was thinking. So we definitely will do it the Sunday before Christmas. Good. And then, yeah, so we'll do it the Sunday before Christmas. So the Sunday before the Sunday before Christmas, then that's when we'll pick um winners for the present all right um lucky n what's the best serum for oily skin 
And uh, that's a very, very good question because then I would have to go and tell you like a, a store-bought serum for oily skin. But I do have a serum that I personally made for oily skin and it's on the channel, Oily Skin Serum, Chichi Beauty, and the video is going to pop up, okay? All right. Um, I Chichi, before Christmas, please, thanks. Okay, all right. So most people are saying before Christmas. So definitely this Sunday before Christmas, we'll have our Christmas giveaway show. All right. Um, Maria Laforte, I can't find this serum with the flag seed and star anise you cannot find it the video okay so just try to um oh all right i'm gonna try to get the name i'm gonna put the link to that video under the show when it's done so come back and look for the link okay all right the video is there though all right um i'm rachel what can replace the papaya in the remedy and that's a tough one but i'm gonna tell you that it's it's there's nothing to compare to it, but the closest is avocado, okay? That's the closest one. So if you don't have the papaya, just substitute with avocado. They're different in an extent because the papaya is so wonderful for a lot of things, a little more than even what you benefit you would get from the avocado, but replace the papaya with avocado. All right. Um, Chichi, okay. Um, I am diabetic and I have very dry skin. What do you recommend for my hair? It is breaking off and very dry. My skin and and look like oh scaly fish. Okay, yes. So guess what? You are gonna use some castor oil. Okay, you're gonna mix that castor oil with some aloe vera gel, and with the with that, you're gonna get yourself some shea butter or some cocoa butter and you're going to blend all of that together and if you have any other oils that you want to add to that add it to it and use it all over your body all right and that is going to take care of your dry skin when it comes on to your hair when it comes on to your hair you definitely mix the castor oil with some coconut oil and use it in your hair okay you can also use the same body treatment i just gave you with the aloe and the the shea butter and everything head to toe it's also good for your hair all right just make sure to do it at least for your hair at least oil the scalp at least two to three times per week your body you do that every time you get out of the shower now when you get out of the shower do not completely dry your skin leave a little of the water on it and add and apply your moisturizer or your body cream that i just gave you apply it to the skin while the skin skin is dumb and i guarantee you that it's gonna start to feel a little better at least okay keep doing it until it gets better totally oh wow my time is up guys i oh my time is up let me take the last question and that lucy thank you so much for your remedies they have bought so much in my life when I didn't know what to do next. Thank you, and you are welcome. And those are the kinds of comments that I like. I love you guys so much. Go and watch the week lineup of videos. Come back, comment, send your picture, go on Facebook, join the beauty club, post whatever you want to post on that page. That's where we could interact with each other. You use something, you love it, you take a picture, you post it on the Facebook page. Okay, guys, I love you. Join me next week, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for another in our series, Sunday Chit Chat with Chitty Beauty, three steps for beautiful skin. Wash, repair, hydrate. It's more than three, but yeah. Wash your skin, apply something on it like a serum first, and then you apply some moisturizer. And that is in a nutshell. Love you guys. Be good. Try something new. Play around with stuff. Have fun. Take care of you because no one else is going to do it for you. Bye-bye.